it is to hear that song this morning one of my absolute favorite songs ever written in the apostolic movement we want to bring our, our prayer needs to the Lord today we have a lot of prayer needs and we are seeing some encouraging things people who are recovering from COVID-19 and some miraculous recoveries and and we're very very thankful for the hand of the Lord on our church family and all that God is doing I'm thankful for all of the kindness, people who have gathered in and uh, been delivering food and medicine and praying and even bringing offerings so that we could buy food and buy medicine for people and help people who are out of work during this time. Just had a precious family in this church stop by this morning and, and bring an offering for for those that are in need of benevolence during this time of, of COVID outbreak. Uh, Pastor wanted me to mention, if you would like to give to the Lord's Kitchen to help with food or just give a benevolence offering, you can do so. You can go to aptabupc.com forward slash give, and you can do it under the special offering tab, and we'll know what that's for. And then uh, also... Uh, at the, in the same vein, you can text the word GIVE to 678-846-6522. And you can give to the Lord's Kitchen or you can give a special offering. You can also give your tithes and offerings in both of those places as well. If you'd like to mail your tithes and offerings, at this point, we will not be having an in-person service until a week from today. Uh, if all goes well and, and if the Lord allows it, next Sunday we do plan to be back in the tabernacle at 10 a.m. for Sunday school and 11 a.m. for uh, worship, just like we're having live stream right now. That means that Tuesday we will not be having live in-person prayer. Wednesday will be live stream only at 7.30 p.m., live stream only. So make sure you tune in. To that if you'd like to in the meantime if you'd like to mail your tithes or offering in this will not be on the screen so you'll want to write this down you can mail tithes and offerings to P.O. Box 85 Jonesboro Georgia 30236 thank you for your faithfulness in, in giving now I'm gonna have a long list of names and so I want you to be listening and and do your best if you need to write it down try to remember so you can help us pray for each of these needs many of these people are recovering and doing much better some of them are still fairly critical so Tina Bradbury is in continued need of our prayers Marissa Dorothy Tina's mother Turner Middleton is doing much better continue to pray for him as he recovers Yolanda Newton the Henry family 
brother and sister Hurst. Sister Hurst is still in genuine need of our prayers. So be praying for Sister Hurst as she's been in the hospital. Nikita, Sister Duffus, Michaela, Brother Baron Pope, Sister Waldrop, Brother Waldrop, who has also been in the hospital very, very sick and really needs us to be lifting him up in prayer. Sister Guzman and members of her family, Brother Collins, Sister Pender, Brother Pender, Brother Arias, Sister Arias, Brooke, Elsie Gaspard, Raymond, Myers, Brother Ormsby, and Ashley and Tim Gullickson, who are newer members of our church family. They both have COVID, and Tim has been hospitalized with it. So we're praying very specifically for him. So could we pray over these needs? We're going to pray over the offering, just as if you were here marching to give. We're going to pray as we give. We're going to pray for these names, and I'm going to pray for your need. I know that you have needs that that you can't necessarily call out right here because we're not together, but we're going to pray for you right now. Lord, in the name of Jesus right now, I plead the blood over every single member of this church family that is battling COVID-19. I pray that healing virtue would flow and that you would touch them in the hospital rooms, in their sick beds, oh God, that you would give them complete and full recovery, Lord. I pray that you would raise them up out of the hospital and bring them home. And I pray that you would provide for their needs as many have been struggling out of work and unable to provide. And I pray that you would bless their finances and that you would help this church to be a blessing to those who are in need. I pray for every family listening and watching right now with needs in their own lives and various sicknesses, financial needs, God. Some people are are battling discouragement right now because people can't stand the idea of isolation. And I pray that you would minister to them, reach into homes, reach into cars right now and, and touch your people, I pray, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Bless this offering. Use it for your glory, I pray. And I pray that you would honor the faithfulness of your good people. We give you all the praise today. We know that you're good. We know that you're faithful. We worship you and we magnify you. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me go Oh 
that you're, you've joined us. We are uh, unfortunately not able to gather today in the sanctuary, but hopefully very soon. And if you have your Bibles, uh, grab your Bible. We're going to talk to you a little bit here from the book of Psalms, Psalm 25. But wherever you are and uh, however you're joining us, why don't you just lift your heart or your hands or stand to your feet and let's invite the presence of God to anoint his word right now. Father, I pray for each and every one. I thank you because you give us faith and courage in the midst of our disappointments and troubles and our distress. And we thank you because your anointing is in the house today. And Lord, wherever they are joining us across this great fellowship of saints, we ask God that you would anoint and bless. We give you praise for it right now. Everyone said in Jesus' name, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And God is here with us. Well, praise the Lord. We are turning our attention to the reading of God's word. And my text is Psalm 25. <clears throat> and uh, we know these are difficult times. It's, uh, we've had a number of people that have been through a severe battle with this virus. And uh, most are, have broken through and are, are mending and others are on their way. We're going to believe, God, that every single one will have victory in Jesus' name. I appreciate every prayer for those that are sick and every dollar that's been given to help those that are especially uh, troubled and, and out of work and so on. We know that prayer changes not just things, but everything. Prayer is the key. We're thankful that so many are improving and uh, we anticipate getting back in the house of the Lord in Jesus' name. Psalm 25 and 14 is our text. Psalm 25 and 14. Now, <clears throat> as you're looking there, or getting there, uh, let me mention that this, this psalm is nestled between two, of, two other great psalms, obviously Psalm 24 and Psalm 26. 
And uh, all the way from this psalm to 34 is considered a set of psalms. And in this particular psalm of David, it is quite clear from the hints in the psalm that David is older, and uh, much older in fact, probably at the time many scholars assume or think that it was at the time of the rebellion of Absalom. And so that puts the context of the wording. Of course, we're not going to read very much of it, but we are going to read one verse. And so therefore, it's a psalm of distress, a psalm of sorrow, a psalm that cries out to God and in, in, a, in the midst of distress. And, and here's the key. David's distress drives him to God. Not away from God, but to God. And in verse 14, we read, The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Psalm 25 and 14, The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, and he will show them his covenant. Now, you may feel alone like David. You may uh, be distressed or overwhelmed or swallowed up by events in your life. Perhaps you're sick and, and ill and you don't, you're not sure what the next step is. But God has given you something greater than your sickness or your problems. He's given you his secret. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so God is able, a secret. Webster says, a secret is a thing known apart from the knowledge of anyone else known only to him as it were so it is a thing known apart from the knowledge of someone else so God knows things that we could not know we would not know but he shares them with those that fear him he's the great creator and yet he shares and becomes involved in his creation he loves us as it were and he's made it known to you who love and fear him so I'm going to preach today this message the secret of the Lord would you bow your heads Lord right now I pray that you will help us in the time of trouble comfort those that need comforting Lord the enemy rises up and dares to threaten I pray that you will give us in our distress faith to know that we are special in your sight show us that you hold the world in the palm of your hand sometimes it seems that nobody knows what's happening to us but no devil today exists it's able to thwart the plan of God Lord we know that nothing is too hard for you and you Lord are the one that makes all of the difference in our lives and we pray all these things in Jesus name and everyone said amen 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 the secret of the Lord this is a wonderful and fascinating concept it's mentioned more than once in scripture but here's uh, one of the favorite places the Hebrew word for secret here is sowed and uh, it's from a, another Hebrew word that means something that's kept in counsel. Something that is kept in counsel. For example, I'm sharing something very important and therefore it's kept within the confines of just certain minds. Very, and very close. I keep it very close to myself. And that is exactly uh, what a secret is and that is exactly what David is referring to. Now this word has other variations of meaning but uh, the King James translates it accurately that it is the secret of the Lord and, uh, and very close to God God's heart God shares his very heart with those that fear him you know that's a wonderful thing I know that we're just we're just sinners saved by grace but we've been turned into something very very special in the eyes of God so the devil on the other hand is in the darkness so when you're in trouble remember that the devil may think he's something but the devil is a defeated foe and he does not know the deep secrets of the heart of God but you know them because you fear him and God shares that with you in relationship so with those who fear him uh, your enemy is left out of the know Spurgeon once wrote this and he who fears God has nothing else to fear <laughs> once you have the fear of God nothing else death itself 
is not to be feared because you have the hand of, your hand is in his hand. Solomon wrote in a similar vein in Proverbs 3, the froward, which is sort of a old English word for evil or wicked, the froward is abomination. Translation, the froward is abomination. the righteous and uh, <clears throat> prophet said that God's secrets or the sowed the, the, the counsels of God's mind are revealed in what? prophecy so that when God speaks bring the secrets Living in the last days. This is a time for you and your family to prepare yourself to meet God and to be ready for your eternity. Amos was actually hates faithfulness to because it speaks to us of eternal things. That he shares himself with us. That no one else sees. And certainly hell cannot get its hand. Of sinful life. But we're seeing things that come from. That God is able to do the impossible. Your sickness and of a healing God. Yes, but he so that we use things, but now we've been walking. Can I say and the power of the Savior? Transforms a life. If you're a Christian and you're not trans, that doesn't become so trans is un uh, explain important. To know God, there is nothing. Have a nice enough home to be more than to know God. To know God is a wondrous. The Holy Ghost and its. His presence. You are never in your tongue, uh, speak in under <clears throat> because it is a earthly language. The creator of the universe is he loves those. Used to be a sinner, changed by the hand of God. In itself, Paul intercession for time getting your your head pray prayer for those that need a. Miracle. Father, I pray for the miracle touch and know that you're here. Lord, we before and we are brought into the very presence of God. Hallelujah. I feel so dear saint of God going through today. 
and he cares. He determined that he was going to share his secret with you because you fear him. Peter said, cast all your care on him. Cast it every bit of it on the Lord, for he careth for you. Because our God is a deliverer, and he is our strength. Can you say amen? He is our strength. He is our hope. Not man, not, not the crutches of this world, but God himself. Not a made-up, pretend religion, but a true relationship with God. Now, when we think of strength in the Bible, what, <clears throat> what a name comes to mind? Well, probably Samson, right? Because Samson had supernatural strength from God and he had a secret with God, a vow, a secret that says a parallel. At the end, and I'm going to refer that can never. Or lose our way. Make a superman. With a God who is supernatural. Because of his exploits. The things he. Uh, in the theological. God but they don't believe in miracles. Uh, well versed in, in theology. Well, I was speaking to someone not too long ago. Well, he couldn't embody. He was doing the whole generation of every X man. People think of But telling me that he did the things the Bible says the body. Back to the matter my friend, if don't read natural it because God alone amps us the fact that power He thought it would always be that way. It was simple. It was easy. He actually, what it actually revealed was that Samson thought it was his own. And this, of course, is a great, a great mistake. It was not his own. It was the secret of God. And the secret is this. Are you ready? God has a plan. He has an awesome plan. In every situation, whether it's life he has a plan. Or if it's death, he has a plan. Whether I live or die, God is God and God is able. We serve God not because of what we get, because, but who we get. We get the king of kings in our lives and he has a plan for us. He brings us into the royal family. Now sadly, the great Today we're living in very troubled. Trouble is always find it, make you rich. Whatever he's got to do, lose your trust in God. Taking, I mean, it's all. 
mind. I also mentioned Samson. Do you remember that? Interesting. Wondering. ever is the time God of God God is my mighty in strength affects our lives us for the good Holy Ghost is drawing that is to of this world and the things of the world that destroy relationship with God. You can't take your cross into every bar in the county. You have to, you have to leave it outside if you walk in certain places that Satan is trying to to your creator. So it's time to believe God. It's time to bound and do everything as the Bible says your first time all around us. And folks, this is what God is with those that fear him. He ran in the wrong direction. Claimed the glory for himself. And the so here's why we don't. And worshiping and tears running down. In the presence of God, I do not care what someone else thinks about it. My entire life. Of the glory goes Samson of the world Samson played games with the team the secret of John plan there's never been a time played games with that vow he made of course don't you see how important it is <clears throat> you need to go back here's what I feel back I don't care if it's pandemic or what it is and you say I'm gonna lift my hand and praise God the devil to get a word. God is going to do I receive value the same spirit that he gave the earth the presence of God Secret of the Lord lost his powers at to family. He would start saying, Well, we didn't used to, you don't need to go, you need to let. God. It's time to draw near with you when you drew your that no 
works all things that are the cause Oh, that makes the devil just crazy. That in your life, and it's because you valued the Jesus. I value him with the Holy Ghost. Let the power. Hallelujah. He's in charge. Us, even if it's just a little little glimpse of it even when nothing seems to make sense when sickness comes and trouble is all around us uh, he goes on to explain and in, in the, Paul goes on to explain that godly faith in the midst of a pandemic or any circumstance verse 31 I'm so I, I was reading from Romans 8 all things work together now I'm do, gone down to verse 31 Paul explains that in the midst of any circumstance, verse 31, what shall we say to these things? What am I going to say? What, what shall we then say to these things, right? And what's the answer? If God be for us, who can be against us God is with you because you fear him and you're righteous before him you live for him and you you come before his word and come to his altars and you seek the face of God and that is why there is a mighty church and a mighty army in this dark world holding the light of faith in the darkness that's all around us it is no time to push away from God's favor and the secret of heaven it is time to know it better than you've ever known it before lord i need to get closer to you let's bow our heads right now father the secret of the lord is with them that fear thee and someone today is drawing back lord into the presence of god like they never have i pray that if the sick that are listening will feel the healing touch of God. I pray that families that are drawing apart, Lord, will be drawn into the presence of God. We thank you, Jesus, for it. And we give you praise in Jesus' name. So Paul was beaten for the gospel five times, he said, with leather whips, and three times with rods. He was shipwrecked Everything gone, nothing left. Yet he knew the secret. <laughs> when you know his secret, when you're so close to him, for God is for us. God is with us. And if God be for us, who can be against us? This world is not our home but God's covenant which brings us deliverance is with us in order to get us safely home and church that's where we're headed friend that's where you need to head head home head to God's eternal home in Jesus name let's bow our heads right now father we thank you for touching those, Lord, that have struggled this week. Thank you for healing. We feel the anointing of God. And I pray that you will not just let us act out of emotion, but to act out of faith, trusting the God that cares for us and shares himself with us every step of the way. And we give you praise for it. And we thank you, Lord. We value it, Lord God. God bless you. We thank you for joining us today. Remember, the secret of the Lord is with us, and his presence is with us right now. In Jesus' name, God bless you, and we will see you in church soon. God bless each and every one.